Hello and welcome to this train yard review. Today, as you already know, I am doing something out of the ordinary of what I usually do. And I have to say, just about every Thomas Wooden Railway user, I am going outside the concept of Thomas Wooden Railway today. Doing the special review I thought you would all appreciate. Chuggington Mall. Now, um, I'll zoom in here. So, um, I got this, I know it says $9.99 there, but I got this actually free with the purchase of, um, $20 or more on any wooden railway thing, which was, uh, really cool. Um, so I thought, hey, I get this for free, and why not do a review on it? But, um, I did a little bit more research, just looked in the store, looked around pricings, inspected all the engines, kind of, and, um, the trucking line is a good 50% cheaper than the wooden railway line where I am. The wooden railway trains sell for them anywhere from um, 15 to 30 bucks each. Well, like 28 or something, but you know, it's 30 bucks almost. So, um, it's great to have, um, it's not great, but it's a good asset of this to have the pricing. So, um, that's one note I really say. So, um, let's unbox this. Let's just do a little review on Chuggington. Um, as you know, it's a competitor of Thomas Wooden Railway and Thomas itself. And it's basically Disney's version of Thomas trying to get on the cash train, if you take my metaphor. Yeah. So let's look at the back of the box with some characters. So you can see there's all the line of chugging characters. Um, all the uh, reoccurring characters, I would assume. And, um, yeah, so let's, um, let's keep inspecting on this. So at first glance, this engine looks um, like a mix-up of many different other engines put together or patchly. Now I've never seen the show. Well, I see oh one episode, but then I hated it, so I stopped watching it. But um, this engine looks like a hodgepodge mix-up of many other types and of engines. Not sure if it's actually even classified as another engine. So um, as a uh, engine. So uh, let's open this. Now it looks to be a similar construction to the 2013 Thomas Wynn Railway, which I said in my Steven review and Skrillaway review how to open it. Let's focus in here before I open it. So, um, yeah, um. Open it with the least amount of damage I can do to the box. And then. Hmm, looks like there's another layer of plastic in here. It's harder to get the engine out. Oh, that sucks. So there's another layer of plastic. It was just about impossible to get the engine out. I did okay there. I did it not too badly damaging the box. That's okay. Um, there we go. So, uh, once it's revealed, there's this layer of plastic here, which I was struggling with. And then, there's the engine itself. Uh, w along with this um, pamphlet. Now this is interesting. Let's look at this because it um, is rivaling the Thomas pamphlets, which you all know they took away from their models. So uh, I think that's a bit of Chuggington rebelling there. So um, it just says Chuggington Wooden Railway there with the assumed Chuggington logo. Engines and vehicles. So let's open this. Let's see how many they offer. Is it just the back of the box, basically? So, um, on this one page, just let me zoom out here. This is why. Uh, there we go. On this one page, we have uh, many uh, different engines. I won't read them through them all. But, um, it looks like mostly engines and only three different types of cars. One's a rescue car, safari car, and quarry car. So, out of this. I just don't like the style of this. It looks all unrealistic. It just looks un more unrealistic than Thomas. I had to say, I have to say that. So I, so far, I really just don't like it. And um, let's see what it says here: Chuggington Wooden Railway combines the excitement of Chuggington with the classic charm of wooden trains. Play. It is unique two-in-one building provides more ways to play. And it is comparable with other wooden railway train systems, which is um, partly fake. This is that bit there. 
which is partly fake because as we all know some charging items can't go under uh, wooden railway bridges and things like that so um yeah so oh, there's a few sets on the back here um doesn't look like a wide range with wooden railway there's anything and everything this looks very narrow marketed so uh, without that out of the way uh, let's get to the locomotive Hodge okay let's see let's just um I'm gonna compare them to um let's see Thomas here similar size so um for size wise of Thomas he's not quite Thomas's length he's a little um let's focus he's a little shorter it looks like but uh he rides over so it looks like the, it looks like the um, foot plate is the same as Thomas but the actual axles the actual back of it is much shorter I guess that's one way to conserve wood space um, and then the magnet area is longer on a first inspection of this I feel it's really fake and cheesy with almost I would say good three quarters of it being plastic and the only thing being wood is this uh, wooden box it looks like off the back uh, I'm not sure what this engine is supposed to be it just looks like a mix of different locomotives which would make sense because his name's Hodge um, I put the face I'm not sure about the face uh, I don't know what to think about it personally and uh, I'm really out of my comfort zone here there's a screw on the bottom the wheels are different it just feels really weird even just holding this now um yeah I just just don't like it there's just something about it there's oh this fits wood the only thing I like is this actually still feels like wood the today's 2013 and 14 wooden railways um, the wood feels like plastic now but uh yeah the only th other thing is this is pretty detailed uh, 3d detail like the plastic has rivets and little lines and eye lines but um the wooden parts are about as detailed as any wooden part would be so um yeah I don't feel it's a lot of wood it's the same with today so uh yeah it doesn't look like this is good for anything maybe if they hollow that out a little bit more it might be good for more uses but uh right now I'm just really not feeling the appeal on this model too much um just plastic and junk and yeah and uh but the whole thing about Chuggington Wooden Railway, I just seem to not like it. Um, that's my opinion on this. Um, yeah, it just doesn't stand up in my opinion. It uh, feels fake and uh, cheesy. Even more fake and cheesy than um, Thomas Wooden Railway today. So, uh, that's my opinions. I really don't like the oversized magnets. I don't know why. It's just kind of bugging me. Well, that's my opinion on this, and uh, hope you fully you enjoyed me talking about Chuggington. Um, now the question is, would I get another one of these, or another one of these? I should say another character from Chuggington. Now the short answer, no. It's possible I could get another in the future because that store I've got. The promotion from still has that on for another two months or so. Because mainly the reason why they're doing it because the Chuggington stuff isn't selling for them. So they're just getting rid of it now. But um, the promotion they have is still on for another two months or so. So um, I'm really not sure. Oh, knocked over Harvey here. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you. A lot of cool things coming up. Uh, Q&A video should be up soon if not already. Uh, big City Engine review coming up soon. After Big City Engine review is done, I'm going to go start to work on the diesel again, finish it off, and then I think I might have to leave for a trip for a few days. Then when I come back, um, the voice actors will get their lines for Northwestern Railway 100 years of the making, and, a f and um, that will start into production right away. So everyone get ready and get stoked. Oh, and the knockoff. The knockoff uh, thing is going to get underway after I come back from the trip. So get ready, get stoked, and I'll see you soon. Peace.